Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and today we're on our way to the Nordic. Yes, the Nordic. The Nordic. This is actually the world's craziest, the world's most luxurious, the world's best buff A. So, why have you never heard of it? Because it is the best kept secret of America buffets. We are in Rhode Island. Yes, this is in Rhode Island, very, very southern Rhode Island. They have all-you-can-eat lobster. Yes, all-you-can-eat lobster. Can you believe it? All-you-can-eat Alaskan king crab legs. All-you-can-eat prime rib. All-you-can-eat steak tenderloin. All you can eat haagen ice cream and they'll make you milkshakes with haagen ice creams. They'll, they have like cheesecakes, they have everything. The oysters, all you can eat, scallops. Crazy, just absolutely crazy. Uh, so we're gonna go have some fun, we're gonna eat this food. Uh, it is $125 for the buffet, but this is supposed to beat out Vegas. And I'm like, so yeah, so this is apparently, like I said, the best buffet in the world, America's best kept restaurant and buffet secret. So let's go have some fun, let's eat some food, and let's Let's just go enjoy it, so let's go. Everyone, so we made it inside, it's absolutely crazy. Like literally, I've never been a place where they just freely give you as many lobsters as you want. We have freaking king crab guys, Alaskan king crab legs. They have steak, they have filet mignon, they have prime rib, they have everything you could ever ask for. They have beautiful desserts, they have vegetables. They have cold, like raw bar, they have oysters, they have shrimp, they have absolutely everything. We got our bibs on. So uh, let's just have some fun. Like we said, we already ate earlier, so we're not going to go too hard, but we just got, we had to try this place while we're in the area. So. Celebration dinner. Celebration. So right. enjoy, Scott. Thank you. We'll give a fist there. Thank you, sir. We have some uh, pickle salad here. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today you are going to see what is undoubtedly the craziest buffet and maybe the craziest restaurant you've ever seen in your life. We are at the Nordic in South Rhode Island here at the famous, the legendary, the amazing all-you-can-eat seafood and steak and everything else buffet. And I'm talking luxury seafoods. We have whole lobsters, Alaskan king crab, scallops, oysters, prime rib, steaks galore. It was absolutely incredible. And all of it, all you can eat. Anything you want. So I, uh, the audio is going to change here momentarily. Um, I had a new microphone, which I was going to try out. So the audio is a little, uh, a little different at some points. Um, my friend Scott, who I'm with, you won't be able to hear him as well. A little bit of trial and error, um, as again, this was the first time I was using it, and I never got to test it before uh, this day. But nonetheless, you are going to have an incredible experience. Join us as we try out this amazing buffet. We get to try all the options. We we eat through their desserts, we eat through their different seafoods, we eat through the land items, and we just have ourselves, well, I'll let you tune on in and see what kind of experience we ultimately have. So the cost of it is $125. The restaurant itself is generally only open from April, like end April, early May, to December, basically like Christmas, New Year's. They are only open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and you really, really, really need reservations to get in. This place is a very popular stop for tour buses, and besides that, they literally only allow walk-ins on Sundays because Fridays and Saturdays fill up just based on reservations alone. So the place is very, very well known in the area, but if you don't know, you don't know. Again, one of the craziest restaurants I've ever seen in my life. So if you ever get the opportunity, well, let me know down below if you think you're going to like this restaurant already. Give me a hashtag yes or a hashtag no. And, you know, come back at the end of this video and decide whether you still feel the same way. So, hashtag yes, hashtag no. And at that, let's start talking about some food here. Let's get into the good stuff. Of course, we're just starting with the salads, but we got lobster, we got steak, we got seafood, we got everything you could ever ask for coming your way. So with that, let's get to the video. All right, everyone, so I just kind of threw on a mic. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. All right, so of course we start with the healthy salad. 
Scott, how was the salad to start? It was good. It was nice and fresh. Uh, but, you know, I'm really digging this right here. Man, this is what... Uh, freaking Alaskan king crab and freaking a whole lobster, guys. And literally unlimited lobster. It's... I'm, I just... I can't believe that it is just unlimited seafood. It is... I, I Like I said, I have never been in a place, never been somewhere where it is like, hey, what do you want? And we'll give it to you, especially for items like this. So I'm pretty pumped. We do have crackers and stuff. Uh, I'm used to kind of getting shells cut or tails cut. Dude, this is like, of course you have butter and all this stuff. Look at this, look at this freaking lobster tail, guys. I can eat as many of these as I want. Oh my gosh, I am so pumped. All right, anyway, here, let's uh, give it a bite. Oh yeah. Very, very good. I have some crackers here. We'll get into some of these lobsters. Woo wee! Salty, sweet. If you've never had a lobster, it's like a very like sweet kind of seafood. Scott, you've had lobster before, right? How would you describe a lobster? It's, uh, yeah, this, this is very sweet, like you say. Yeah. Um, a little salty, not not overly lebriny. Yeah. Um, it is like, of course, a nice uh, texture to it. Yeah. As well. It's it's not overly chewy. And they oh, and they these are cooked really right. This is not overcooked at all. If you saw it easily, yeah, we got, got shell bowls. If you saw it easily, it, it came out of the uh, out of the shell. They're definitely cooking the lobsters right. These lobsters are boiled, um, but man, these are freaking delicious. Of course, lobster uh, is also very lean meat um, and very very flavorful. Like I said, this is a food desired by people all over the world. It is considered a true delicacy. Fun fact: certain places like Asia. I believe it's China. Um, they buy lots of uh, lobsters from Eastern Canada, and they often have them uh, for like weddings and stuff. And they end up paying uh, over a hundred dollars a lobster. Um, oh man, dude! What I can't believe! I can have unlimited lobsters. Oh my lord! This is just like too, too, too much. Getting this knuckle a little bit. I will say I can I can I can make my way around a, a lobster not too bad, but I'm not actually I'm not 100% versed in the the crab leg or king crab, but I know there's a lot of meat in them. And every time I've had king crab, I'm always so thoroughly impressed. So. Just say I'm not as skilled, I'm not as seasoned. Dude, honestly, I'm not really either. But I did live on the east coast of Canada for quite a few years, so eastern Canada, so I do have a little bit of a bias benefit experience with, with certain seafoods like lobster. Mm. Man, though, I tell you what, this is a, this is a treat. And, and like, we got steak, we got prime rib. I, again, for like, I'm not gonna really, I don't think I would dig into much dessert today, just because I ate so much earlier, but man, the desserts are fantastic. Look at that piece. Yeah, dude, that is a, that is a, yeah, that is a, that is a big, big, big one. There you go. And oh my gosh, look at this, guys. How's that, dude? Oh, right there. Mmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, digging some of this crab. So meaty in there. Mm. Oh, oh man, the knuckles. Oh man. Mm. And you got some butter, right? I do have some butter. I didn't. I know I'm good. I didn't even get any. But don't even need it, probably. Dude, I really don't. But holy cow, this is uh, this is phenomenal, to say the least. Definitely gloves wouldn't be a bad uh, wouldn't be a bad option either. But mm. oh man, thank you.
Dude, there's so much meat in this friggin' king crab legs and, and claws. Woo! How's that? With the butter, savory butter. Dude, that lobster tail. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, guys, look at this. Look how much meat is in this freaking crab claw. Just like pure, pure, beautiful, perfected pieces. Um, thank you. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh, that was too good. Dude, man, we're in for a treat. Already better than I expected. Yeah. Man, this is so dang good. Just the quality of seafood here, everybody. The fact that it's a buffet, because they just walk up. And like I said, it's like as many Alaskan king crab legs as many lobsters as you want. Like on my next order, I could go get like five lobsters if I wanted to. Well, I've, never, I've never been to an all you can eat. Seafood, lobster, steak, Dunkin' Dolls ice cream later. No man, like this is, I've, I've been to what is the best buffet in Las Vegas and that doesn't compare to this. There's not Alaskan crab legs, there's not all you can eat lobster. Dude, I think this is the best, honestly, I, I think this is, I have never heard why we came today, guys, because I've never heard of a better buffet ever, 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 ever. Where else can you get all you can eat lobster, all you can eat king crab legs? No, there goes my bib. Dude, too good. Well, these are definitely spiky on the hands. I don't know if there's a better technique, but. Oh man, so much meat in there. Frig. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. Holy cow, Scott. Dude, we're gonna we're gonna be here for a little bit, I think. <laughs> this is too good. But oh, so good, everyone. So here we go. Um, for my second plate, I got some beautiful looking prime rib, guys. This is an oven roasted prime rib, cooked very like medium rare, perfectly. I also grabbed myself a tenderloin steak. Yes, a tenderloin steak. Um, Scott got the same things. We also then got some uh, oysters. Yes, oysters. Yes, that's right. They literally have a full raw bar, so we got a, a couple oysters. These are oh, from coming from only five minutes away, so you're definitely not getting any fresher than that. Um, and then I got some smoked salmon. I think we both did. And uh, Scott also got some ribs. I think uh, so. Let's give these a try, guys. Again, the crazy thing is like this is all unlimited. So seafood, all we want. Lobsters, all we want. Crab legs, all we want. So let's just kind of get started. I'm probably gonna try one of these oysters first. All right. I, uh, Scott, do you like oysters? Uh, I, yeah, I do. You do? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try this one just plain, so yeah. cheers, brother. Cheers. Definitely a cold water oyster. Yeah. One thing I find with cold water oysters, they carry a lot more of like a salty, brinier taste, a little less meaty than those like kind of warm water golf oysters, but nonetheless, very, very good. I'm gonna do, I really like them with um, horseradish, which I have here, they have fresh horseradish. And then I also like them with uh, hot sauce at a variety. Here I have a Frank's. This way I like to deck them up. Mm. Mm. Woo! Oh man, man. That is my favorite. And I put that on everything. That's right, I put that stuff on everything. Dude, you know what's crazy though? This is unlimited. I've never had unlimited freaking oysters before, man. Usually you like, you know, you order six or a dozen. This is unlimited. Oh, dude, too good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna grab some more of those for sure. Those are so fresh. I probably tried the smoked salmon. It is skin on. Mm. Oh man. Beautiful smoke on there. Dude, that is beautiful. I don't know if they do it here, guys, but if you don't know what smoked salmon is, it's salmon which is smoked, believe it or not. But damn. Got a nice glaze on top as well. Mm. So sweet. Mm -hmm. But that lovely smoke. I bet it's probably like a 
Probably like a light hickory or something. Mm -hmm. Man, too, 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 too good, everybody. That is amazing. Mm. Oh, man. Guys, I think I'm in heaven. Scott? Can can it get can it actually I don't, th I don't think it can I don't even can, know what could get better. Yeah, can it get any better than this? I don't think it can. That's literally my question. Hopefully this uh, isn't wrestling on the uh, microphone any. Man, guys. All right. Try some of this uh, filet mignon coming straight out the grill. Ask for a medium rare and yeah, that's 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 looking good. It's looking good. And that was with a butter knife. A yeah, butter, a butter knife. Like that's that. true. Oh man. Mm. Woo! That is the epitome. The epitome, guys, of tender. I like salt and pepper. I'm a, I'm a very salt forward palate. I'm gonna deck this up a little bit. Man. And these are prime Angus steaks, guys. And dude, this is unlimited. Yeah. You can eat as many as you want. You can get as many as you want. Where else can you get freaking unlimited prime freaking rib and tenderloin steaks? Yeah, great, uh, great place for a celebration, I tell you that. Man, I have a new reason to come back to uh, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. I will be back to Rhode Island. <laughs> this is like, this is worth coming to Rhode Island alone. I didn't know much about Rhode Island coming here. But now I know they have amazing restaurants and great food. Try some of this delicious looking prime rib. Again, this is the oven roasted prime rib. They do also have a grilled prime rib. Definitely guys, we got lots and lots of beautiful looking fat up in there. Ooh, oh man. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Soft as butter, people. That is a good, good, good prime rib. Lobster fritter. Yeah, what is that like? It looks good. Fried lobster kind of dough pieces? Yeah, it's um, very briny on the outside. That could be from the au jus though, but you can see here. It's like a cake. It looks like, it's kind of like a biscuit? Almost like a biscuit. Shaped like a Timbit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's our ode to the north. <laughs> Everybody, another round. We each got another lobster. Yes, guys, again, unlimited lobsters. It's absolutely crazy to think that that is a thing. Uh, we both got some more of the oysters. Um, again, really fresh. Do these peppers? I believe it's like a prosciutto stuffed uh, pepper of some sort. I'm gonna try that now. Cheese and prosciutto stuffed um, pepper. It's good. And then I got some steamed broccoli with butter, and then some uh, another salad. I'm trying to keep it healthy. Ooh, that pepper is rich, very rich. Is, yeah. I'm gonna deck in these oysters again. Man, I enjoyed these so much. These are such 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 good oysters. What I was doing last time was I was doing some uh, horseradish, and then I was decking it with some Frank's red hot sauce, horseradish. A little bit of Frank's. Now I love flavors. I love strong flavors, so that's kind of for me. But cheers, brother, dude. What a what a freaking meal! I tell you that much. Mm. Those actually might be some like the best oysters, maybe the best oysters I've ever ever had. They are. Horseradish, clear up my, uh, clear up my nostrils on that bite. Scott doesn't like horseradish. Yeah, I don't know. Just preference. I got some cocktail sauce here though, mm. which is a nice addition. I do like cocktail sauce. 
We won't tell them that there's horseradish in it. What's that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I was just saying, well, uh, I was like, I won't tell them that there's horseradish in cocktails, are. <laughs> Over there? Yeah. Well, it's mixed. It's not... It's like someone that doesn't like tomatoes but likes ketchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this happens all the time. Yeah. But, um... I like I like the cocktail sauce. I actually got some here. I just kind of forgot to open it up. It's like ketchup and horseradish, basically. But I like both those things. How can you do rum? All right, guys. I'm gonna crack in the second lobster. And I'll probably go into the salad again. I do the salad for health, but the lobster is warm. Lobster time. Oh, 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 guys, look at that. Look at that freaking beautiful lobster tail. Just look at it. Lovely. What an experience. Dude. I tell ya. I've never been somewhere where, like I said, people just throwing lobsters at you. <laughs> In the best way possible, people are throwing lobsters at you. But yeah, driving up here, it was just absolutely stunning. Um, it was very scenic. I see like this place is kind of a hidden gem out in the middle of kind of the woods, I guess I'll call it. It is right by the water, but beautiful grounds out here. And undoubtedly, undoubtedly, Amazing experience. Dude, how many how many pounds of lobster do you think they go through here in a day? Hundreds. Hundreds of hundreds. Hundreds of pounds. Maybe even thousands. That's a good question actually. Let's uh, we'll have to find that out. I think everyone that comes here must have at least a lobster. One lobster. Yeah. That's, that lobster is that's gonna be they're 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 pound pound and quarter for sure. Yeah. Well, you Scott, anything else up out there that you're really looking forward to? Uh, those milkshakes. They were talking about banana, chocolate, peanut butter, something like that, milkshakes. They make so. milkshakes with Hagen Doss ice cream. <laughs> Who does that? Nobody. The Nordic does yeah, that. The Nordic. That's right. I mean, we'll put it this way, if the, if the oysters are coming from five minutes away, there's no way... oysters are coming from five minutes, right? Yeah, the oysters are coming from five minutes away, I'm sure those lobsters are too. The Alaskan king crab obviously coming a little further, but... Honestly, I think I would come here just like as a, for a vacation. Yeah. I would take a vacation to come to the Nordic guys, just to eat. You could come eat here. Like, that could be your whole entertainment budget. Just sitting here for like five hours eating lobster. I love bell peppers. These are lobster bell peppers. And everyone, if you made it this part in the video, first off, thank you so much. You are amazing. You rock. But let's settle the debate. Are we talking crab or lobster? What is your favorite, crab or lobster? So comment down below, hashtag crab or hashtag lobster, and let me know which one is your preference. And I guess if you don't like either, how about hashtag beef? I like cows. Cows are actually probably my favorite animal. They're very delicious. So like I said, comment down below, hashtag crab, hashtag lobster, or hashtag beef. And again, thank you so much for watching this point. I always appreciate you guys subscribing, and also I appreciate you liking that video. Delicious. Look at these crab legs. Unlimited, unlimited Alaskan king crab. 
fathom that. Just think about that for a minute. They literally just made these. They're definitely hot. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man. So good everybody. Oh my gosh. You see that? You see I just fall out. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Jesus Louise. Oh man. Woo, Scott, what'd you get, brother? Oh, you got a little uh, dessert shake and uh, some desserts as well. Got a Hagen Dust milkshake. Yeah, dude, butter, that's butter pecan. Oh, that's Ooh. gonna be damn good, dude. These crab legs are freaking huge. Mm. I bet that's like ten out of ten. Oh man. With Hagen Dazs ice cream, can you believe that? Is it rich? It's actually not overly rich. It's it's just the right amount here. So, dude, these are huge. Look at the freaking size of this leg, man. That's like so two, good. two, three feet. Boom! <laughs> Look at that. There's so much meat in these guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man, you're crazy. Whoa. That freaking chunk. Hot damn. I tell you, they have a whole bunch of cakes and pies. And the lady did tell us they would cut us as small a piece as we want. So maybe we'll have to try, like, you know, a small, small, small bit of pretty much everything. Oh boy. Guys. Most people go for cookies and shakes for dessert. Joel goes with King Crab. Crab. <laughs> Crab leg. And how often do you get unlimited freaking King Crab? Not very often. Never. In fact, I have never had that option in my life before. I'm gonna join Scott and some dessert. I know they have some fruit. I love different fruits. They have pineapple, they have strawberries, they have chocolate covered cherries. Um, obviously cookies, toffees, ice cream, milkshakes. A little bit of everything. So I'm gonna to have to dive into that a little bit. Good milkshake? Very good. It's got little chunks on the bottom, so I'm gonna to have to sip it. You want a spoon? You got a spoon? I think I'm just gonna. All right, well, let's go. Up. Let's go check out some dessert. All right, so now we're heading on to dessert. Scott went to grab some more. I just grabbed a couple uh, little quick items, uh, specifically some chocolate-covered strawberries and some regular strawberries. They also have a um, white. So there's a like a milk chocolate-covered strawberry, of course, like pretty standard. I love strawberries in general. I just a plain one. Some blackberries, all about that fruit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Gotta be healthy. I also have a white chocolate covered strawberry. Mm. Oh. Oh man. I'm gonna try a couple other their fancy desserts they have. Again, just want to kind of have a couple, have a healthier bites, healthier options. Scott and I was getting some ice cream, like a banana split, I think. So 
Oh man, but those are so, so, so good. All right, so as I mentioned, Scott was at the dessert getting some ice, uh, dessert bar getting some ice cream. Well, he really got some ice cream. This is his last day of the trip, so he's going a little, going a little, uh, going a little all out. I got some more trips, so whereas I only have uh, a bite of the uh, bourbon pecan pie, I then have a bite of the salted caramel cheesecake. I have a bite of the uh, pumpkin cheesecake, and I have a bite of the score cheesecake, all which look very, very delicious. And I have a little bite of a peanut brittle. Very delicious, tastes like peanut brittle. These ones are all homemade though, so I'm very excited to try that. The brittle is too, but homemade cheesecake. Scott, on the other hand, has like a haagen dazs banana split with whipped cream on top, strawberries, bananas, a brownie, a cookie, and four milkshakes. Four milkshakes. You can kind of see it on the side there. Four more. <laughs> what, what kinds you got there, brother? I got vanilla. Vanilla. Strawberry. Strawberry. Chocolate. Chocolate. And coffee. And coffee. Yeah. How are they? Yeah, so far, uh, the vanilla's really good. Can I try a little bite? Absolutely. Oh yeah, that is a nice consistency. Oh ho ho! Dang nabbit! Dude! Right? Okay guys, like if you like haagen ice cream, it just has that signature super creamy thick flavor, like whole cream. That's what that tastes like. I'm gonna try in this these uh, some of these cheesecakes. This is a uh, or, uh, pumpkin pumpkin cheesecake. So give us a try. Mm. Oh, Ooh. that good, dude. Mm. Sweet, creamy, soft, velvety. Oh man, where's your spoon? Try this. All right, man. Just like. Oh man, that is, you love cheesecakes. I know you like cheesecakes. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin. That is, uh, that is, that is mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Dude. Wow. That's, that's, a, that's beautiful. It's that's, got the cheesecake. Yeah. But, oh, it's just, uh, that's a very, very good cheesecake. Light. Delicate. Oh. Yeah, velvety. Uh, salted caramel uh, cheesecake. This one does look really good as well. Oh man, dude! Mm -hmm. Want to try by this one as well, mm. guys? I mean, my last day before I go home. She said, like the, the lady said, savor him for dessert. She said she was in a long-term committed relationship with the dessert bar here, and I know why. Yeah, I would be too. Holy cow, mm. dude! These are honestly probably some of the best cheesecakes I've ever, ever had. That crust. Dude, velvety, yeah. Oh. Just, oh. Mm -hmm. Snickers cheesecake. This one looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Maybe even arguably the best one, I think, in my opinion. We get some uh, peanuts in there. Got chocolate layers, caramel layers. Mm. Oh, very different than the other ones. You still get the cheesecake. It's a lot lighter. You're getting a lot more chocolate. You're getting peanut butter. Almost like a peanut butter brittle. Almost like the peanut brittle I had at the beginning. Want to try a bite? Absolutely. Score cheesecake. Score cheesecake. It's, diff it's a lot different than the other ones. It's a little different, yeah. yeah. I get more of like a peanut brittle chocolate flavor focus, a little bit less of a cheese cream cheese focus. Yeah, yeah, still very good, still very good. Um, not overly sweet. So. Yeah, a little less sweet actually, yeah. surprisingly. Bourbon pecan pie. Bourbon pecan, everybody. Bourbon pecan. Oh wow! You really taste the bourbon in that. I get really, I get really heavy notes of kind of like creamy bourbon flavors. It reminds me of like a like a bread pudding. Some places like really have a lot of liqueur in a bread pudding. You do get notes of bread pudding. You have the pecan. Still very sweet, but definitely a heavy, heavy, heavy bourbon in that pecan pie.
Yeah, yeah. Huge shout out to the staff here. Everybody is just like literally on board. They have, you know, not only asked how everything was, but they've insisted if anything was not to our liking, not to our expectation to please let them know. Um, and just like they're so generous. And my, I didn't have enough hands to hold all my milkshakes, and one of the. Uh, the workers here said, hey, I'll give you a hand, and he brought two of them over with me, so. Nice. Yes, yeah. yeah, like super courteous everybody. It's, it's like the staff here are phenomenal. The dining has been phenomenal, and I have no complaints. The views are phenomenal. The Nordic is definitely like, it's such a, such a, such a cool, cool, cool place. Here's the history. Nordic trivia and history. Did you know? Pictured here is the entrance of what appeared right around 1980, the ironic Custies mentioned in the sign. Located in North Kingstown, Rhode Island, until it burned down. Custies was well known for its unlimited style dining option. The Nordic Lodge, as it was called then, had been a floundering restaurant for 15 years at the time. The patriarch of the family seized the opportunity to try something new and began offering the all-you-can-enjoy style of dining. The rest as they say, is history. Forty years later, we are still at it. Custies reopened seven times in various locations over um, across Connecticut over the next 20 years, but they were never met with success. Their legend lives on through, and are grateful that we have followed such a recognized name. So it sounds like they, I guess, opened as Custies, but then transformed into the Nordic Lodge. If I followed that story. But nonetheless, pretty dang cool. Oh, wait, here we go. Even through the pandemic, they sold 120,000 pounds of lobsters, 140,000 clams, 40,000 oysters, 20,000 pounds of crab, 20,000 prime rib of filet mignon, almost 17,000 pounds of shrimp, about 8,000 pounds of scallops, 8,000 pounds of watermelon, 5,200 pounds of watermelon, or sorry, of butter. 5,200, yeah, 5,200 pounds of butter. F over 4,000 pounds of seafood salad. 23,000 slices of cake and over 14,000 cookies. 14,001. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. There's all those numbers and there's all the info there. If you want to pause and have a peek at that, crazy. All right, everybody, last thing I'm gonna have while I'm here. Again, it has been very, very good. It has been an absolutely amazing, memorable experience. Have to give a huge thank you to all the staff, huge thank you to all the delicious food. Um, I just got a couple more of the uh, white chocolate-covered strawberries. I did take up, uh, grab some normal strawberries. I had to get some pineapple. I'm a big, big, big pineapple person. In fact, it's pretty much my favorite fruit, so I had to give it a try. I'm trying to go a little more healthy route, a little lower calorie route today for dessert. But so good. This place, um, it is seasonal. They open mid-April, going to uh, December. Definitely make a reservation if you're coming by. There can be hour, 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 hour wait for tables. And it's only Sunday they accept like walk-ins. Fridays and Saturdays are reservations only because it is so busy. When we got here, it was super busy. and a big bus tour coming here. Cleared out, and then boom, there's other people back in right away. All right, well, that's it for us, I think, today. Scott, you got anything else? I think that's it. All right, well, that's it for us today. Vegas does not touch this place. This place for seafood, for quality of meats, Un, un, unmatched. So huge thanks to everybody here again. Um, the staff again, we said outstanding. I've repeated myself because it has been that, it is that memorable, that phenomenal. I will be back. This is worth literally a trip just to Rhode Island to check this place out. Again, if you're coming, please make a reservation. Otherwise, I would hate for you to come all this way and not be able to get a table. Well, well, well worth it. Open only Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And Sundays are only open until 7. So like I said, get your early seating. Seating started around like, one, I think it's around 1 p.m., 12 or 1 p.m. Um, and yeah, it was just well worth it. Scott, any final words? No, I just uh, I want to thank the staff and uh, you know the uh, owners here for having us. And this was an absolutely exceptional experience and uh, you know a great celebration with my friend here.
very memorable. Great way to kind of finalize and close out our trip. Dude, until next time, much love, guys. Uh, like I said, it's been a good trip overall. We've had some crazy, crazy, crazy times. Be sure to check those videos out if you haven't. Um, let's just say we've had some, some near, near misses. We've had some unexpected turns. Uh, but, you know, just got to trust. You just got to believe. And, and here we are today, guys. So uh, if it's I think it's still raining a little bit, but maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of the grounds. It's very, very beautiful. Um, but that, guys, like I said, beautiful place to eat, hang out. That's it. I mean, like a great wedding venue. It was, it was awesome. So the Nordic, definitely one of the top and the best restaurants I've ever been to. So I will remember, you will remember, and that everybody. Till next time, of course, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And of course, till next time, have a lovely day. And here they have some beautiful fireplace. Over here we have a lovely, lovely, lovely fountain. Just all the beautiful grounds around. Stunning. And it stopped raining so we can look at some of these sheep. Hello sheep. We got some alpacas over here. We got a horse. Alpacas. There you go. There's different types of alpacas. They're priced for their luxurious fiber. Basically their fur or wool or whatever you call it. And a sweater or a blanket is a cherished possession, frequently handed down from generation to the next. Crazy. And obviously because of the rain they don't, but normally they have this patio furniture kind of all across the lawn here. They have this beautiful, beautiful, again, uh, fireplace coming here. And just a such a nice ulterior view by the water. Just gorgeous area here. And they have live music all throughout the summer. And just a great place to come hang out for the day, the evening. Looks like people are swimming. They got a dock. We went Band-Aid Finger. And uh, yeah, just what a stunning place. So the Nordic would definitely, definitely recommend. Proud of you, Juana. We just got into Rhode Island. Yes, Rhode Island. My first time in Rhode Island. It is definitely a little, uh, a little overcast. It is definitely raining, but it is all good in the hood. We uh, definitely have these fall covers colors coming out on the trees. Um, we just went by some beautiful orange and red. Uh, now we just have a little bit of yellow and green, uh, but nonetheless, uh, pretty dang cool. We are heading out to the awesome, the notable, uh, actually, and again, I found out this because of one of the lovely people on YouTube, so thank you so much for the recommendations for placing everybody. We're going to the Nordic, the Nordic which is a crazy, 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 all you can eat. And I will say, I just did a challenge. Why am I facing the wrong? I guess you guys get the view. You guys get the, I'm going to repeat all this in intro, but we just did a challenge. I'm just going to eat lightly, but guys, all you can eat, lobster, Alaskan king crab legs, steak, haagen ice cream, plus all the other buffet items. Pretty cool, but anyway, yeah, this is what, uh, this is what Rhode Island looks like. So like I said, in the fall time, Rhode Island looks pretty cool. Definitely that East Coast cold climate. But uh, yeah, Rhode Island. So we just made it to the Nordic. Uh, it's raining out, so I'm not really gonna like get out and show you around too much, but just for comparison, there's like, you know, a little focus. We have some uh, lovely, lovely, lovely uh, fountain out here. There you go, we've got some fountains and stuff. Lots of green space, very beautiful. It is noted as like often like a wedding venue. Um, here we have some, I don't even know what this is, just a decorative thingy thing. Some uh, people coming on in. 
Welcome to the Nordic. They have some maps and stuff, some lobsters menus and stuff, some gentlemen, probably to park, some fires burning there, and good stuff. So let's go check this place out. Uh, definitely a very interesting looking spot, so let's have some fun.